Hi everyone. In this video, we're gonna look at a project that you can do with your students using iMovie. This is a fun project for the students which will teach them ways that they can edit and how they can potentially use some of the advanced features of iMovie such as green screen. So this is basically an interview. They can either interview themselves if it's a remote learning project or if they're in the classroom, they can work in pairs and interview each other. So let's step in. So the first thing you need to do is you need to record the footage. I'm gonna give you an example of how you can do this with maybe two students. So student A, they will take the iPad and they will record student B asking a question to student A. So they need to press the record button on the camera app. So they open the camera app and they press the record button Film in student B. Student B asks that question. And then when the question's been done, student A, without pressing the stop, now that's very important, that you do not press the stop button, student A passes the iPad over to student B. And student B then records student A answering the question. Then student B passes the iPad back to student A without actually pressing stop. Must remember that this needs to be continuous footage. Then student A films student B asking a second question. And when the question's been asked, student A passes the iPad back to student B. Student B films student A recording the answer to that question. And then you do that for as many questions as you want. I'd recommend three. Three questions is probably ample for this particular exercise. Now, if this was done on their own as an individual, then all you need to do, you keep the video recording, but you just move yourself into a different location to answer the questions. And I've got an example of this here. So I'm gonna play that here. This is an example of you doing it on your own. So I've got my student A here, and he's gonna ask the question. So they're asking the question now. I've got the sound off because I don't want it to interfere with what I'm saying. All right, so when they've asked that question, the, we move to a different location. As you can see here, there's a different location and you answer the question to yourself. So you're doing this self-interview. That's very good if you're doing some remote learning, okay? Right, so let's pause that. And then what you can do is you can then go into iMovie and start editing the movie. Now, if you are doing this in pairs, then the students need to airdrop the footage over to the other iPad. In order to airdrop, what they do is they go into the video. So there's the video. We tap on the share button in the top here, and then they airdrop it to the relevant iPad. Then both students will have the video so they can edit it individually. So once both students have got the video, they can then go and individually edit it themselves. So let's go into iMovie. I'm gonna go into iMovie and I'm going to press the plus button and create a new movie by tapping movie. Then I can go into albums and uh, I've put my footage in a particular album. So there's my album and you can see there the one minute 43 footage is the one where I did my self interview. Now I'm gonna select that video and I'm going to create my video. So here is my footage. I can scroll right back to the beginning. Now, if I use two fingers to pinch, what that does, it zooms in, you can zoom in and out. So you can get much more accurate frame cuts. I actually want to zoom in on this so I can get much more accurate frame shots. So I'm going to pinch out as far as I can go, that, that's it, and then scroll back to the beginning. Now I need to watch my video and find the first place where I need to do my first cut. So let's play the video. Hi. Hi. Right. Should we do that again? again. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, hi. I'm... Okay. Just before I say hi, that's where I want it. So I want to just scroll back to where I'm 
just about to talk. So I'd say about there. Then I can tap my video. And when you tap it, you're going to get these options at the bottom. Actions, speed, volume, titles and filters. I want actions and then I'm going to split the clip at that point. Now, I don't want any of this footage. So I can tap on it and you can see that yellow bar around the footage. And then I can tap the delete bin in the bottom right corner and that would delete that footage. Now let's play again. Yep. Yep. Uh, um, hi, I'm, I'm okay, I can see there, there's a yep there, okay? So I'm just going to drag this yellow bar slightly in a bit more, okay? To about there, I'd say. So let's play that. Hi, hi I'm, I'm Richard, Richard and, and I... I... Okay, that's perfect. Right, let's play again and see where the next bit I need to cut out. I'm going, going to, be to be interviewing, interviewing Richard. Richard. So, so Richard, Richard, tell, tell us, us about, about yourself. yourself. What's, What's your, your name, name and where did you, you come, come from? from? Okay, so that's the next bit. So I'm just about to put, move that video around. I want this bit cut out. Okay, so where do you come from? Where do you come, come from? from? Okay, so there's my clip. I'm going to split that there. And then I'm going to cut that out here. Hi. Right, so where I say hi, that's where I want to stop. So I'm going to bring that back there. And you can see my cutting point. Tap the clip. Press the split button. Now, I don't want to delete this bit. I want to delete this bit here, which is the bit where I move the camera, and then press delete, okay? And then I can... Hi, well, my, well, my name's Richard. Richard. Okay, so this bit I want to keep. So let's move this forward. And... Does that answer your question? question? There, answer your question. Then I want to tap again, split, and then it's going to pass, and then it's going to change the scene. Obviously, if the students are doing this in pairs or threes, then obviously it wouldn't be a self-interview. They would be switching between each other. Yeah, yeah thank you. All right, so there, and then split that. Now, I'm going to do the rest of this quite quickly. So for this particular one, I'm going to delete that bit there. Let's do the rest of it quickly. Now, when we get to the end, we can tap on the last video and we can, rather than cut it, we can drag this in to where I just finished. There we are, just finished talking. And then we can go there. And this bit here says back to the studio. Okay, we're going to look at that bit in a second. Okay, so now we've got all the cuts in the right places. Now, let's look at what else we can do with this. So, just here, these bits here, this is called a cut. Now, when you're doing a video like this, I recommend maybe a cut, but what you could do is you could have different transitions. If I tap that there, then I get these options at the bottom to do a different transition. So I could do a dissolve there, and there is a dissolve, so when you watch What's that back, where did you come, come from? from? Hi. So it's up to you whether you want to dissolve or a cut. You could use others, but I don't recommend any others because it doesn't really work with this kind of interview. But you might want to use them for different movies. So I'm going to use that. All right, so now we've got our video here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the cog at the top here. Here we've got an option where we can add filters, but I'm going to choose the news report, okay? The news report filter, and then I'm going to use theme soundtrack, and I'm going to fade in from black, okay? So that gives us a nice professional look. I also want to fade out from black. So that's now going to add a theme tune, and as well as the theme, it's going to uh, fade in and fade out from black. So let's have a look at that. So just tap the screen. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm, I'm Richard, Richard, and, and I'm, I'm going to be interviewing, interviewing Richard. Richard. So, so Richard, Richard, tell us about yourself. yourself. What's, What's your name, and where did you come, come from? from? And you can hear the themed news music in the background there. So, we've got that, and we can see that fade in. Hi, and if we go to the end, we'll be able to see it fade uh, out. To the studio. studio. Now we're going to add some more features. Now what I'd like to do is go to Safari and find an image as a studio background. So I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to search for an image of a studio background. So news studio background. Okay, so I'm going to find something there. I'm going to click on Images there, Google Images, and these are different studio backgrounds. I want to find a legal one, so I'm going to go to Tools here, and I'll go to Usage Rights, and let's do uh, uh, Creative Common Licenses. So that's going to give us some legal ones that we can use. There's a couple here that I might use. I'm going to use this one that says Breaking News. And now if I keep my finger on the picture, 
That's gonna bring up a menu. I want to add to my photos. So that's add to my photo library. So if I go into photos now, and there you can see that's the photo that I've just brought in. So we're gonna use that one as my background. Okay, now let's go back to iMovie. So I'm gonna to go to iMovie, and I want to insert that photo at the beginning of my video. So let's go to photos. If you don't see this menu on the right here, you may see this. I want to press the plus button and press photos. And you can see there recently added, I've got my breaking news photo. So let's put that in. I want to press the plus and that's gonna add my photo in. Notice the theme music has actually extended right back to the beginning. And also notice how the background actually moves. You can see that it's moving. That's called the Ken Burns effect. Now to change that, if we tap on it, I actually don't want it to move. I want it to be a, a steady background. If I tap it, and then I've got here Ken Burns enabled. So let's disable it by tapping on it. Now it's disabled. And now when I play it back, it's just going to stay static. Now there's a couple of other things I can do here. You can see that it's not quite in the middle. I'm just gonna bring that and move that into the middle. Let's see if we can move it as far like so. There we go. Right, now that's right in the middle. Okay, right. So I want to do some green screen effects, but before we do that, let's show you how to do some more advanced features within iMovie. So first of all, I can see if I tap that there, my the length of that clip is 5.9 seconds long. Now, I know that I've got a green screen video here. I can see I've got a green screen video there for 24 seconds. So that's the timing that I need. So let's go back to iMovie. And I'm going to expand this out by dragging this here, and you can see the timing change there to about, I'm gonna make it about 30 seconds, okay? Right, so now that's changed. Now, let's add our green screen video. But before we do that, let's show some other advanced features. I'm gonna go back to my media. Let's go to uh, albums. And then I've got my album there, iMovie Tutorial. That's where I put all my movies. And I can see the 24 second one there. If I tap that, that's the one that I want. And we've also got, if I press the plus button now, that's just gonna add my video. Now I don't want to do that, all right? I don't want it at the beginning. So I'm gonna undo that, press the undo button. And let's just scroll back to where I want that to come in. We're gonna press that again. Let's press these three buttons. Now we've got some options here. Cutaway. So let's try cutaway first. So we're gonna put the cutaway in. Now what that basically means, it's gonna cut away to the green screen footage as I play my video. So watch what happens. And now it's gonna cut away to my green screen, like so, all right? Now if I scroll along here, okay, it will then cut back to my other video. All right, now I don't want that, so I'm gonna undo that, all right? Let's select that and undo. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back and we're gonna put it there. Let's try another one. So we're gonna tap on the three. Picture in picture. Now this is very good for these kind of news report videos. So I'm gonna press picture on picture. Now the picture, as you can see, it appears in the screen. Now we can change that by moving it. So we can tap, the, the must tap the video. So we've got the yellow bar around the video. Then we can tap this crosshair and then we can move it, all right? You could've also got the ability to change pinch to zoom so we can make it bigger and smaller. You can take the border off, etc. But again, I don't want this. I'm gonna undo this. I don't want the picture in picture. I want the green screen. So let's tap it again. Let's try another one. Split screen. Now this is great because what it's gonna do, it's gonna put the two screens next to each other. Now there's lots of applications for this and you can actually change it so it's horizontal or vertical. There we go. And again, you can pinch and zoom in as well if you want to. Now we don't want that one. Green, blue screen. Let's put that in. Now, as we play it, you can see now that it's put the breaking news. Now I've started it there because I wanted a bit of the music to start at the beginning. So watch what happens. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. 
Okay, so now we've got our green screen and we can do the same thing at the end. So we've got another bit here. So I'm just going to add that uh, image. So first of all, let's add the image. Let's go to recents. There's the image. We're going to add that in here. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So it's uh, about 25 seconds long. There we go. So 25 seconds about there. And now I'm going to add my other video. So we're going to go to movie tutorial. And now I've got this particular one. We're going to go green screen on here. And now, as it comes back, let's stop recording. You do, and uh, back to the studio. Now, clearly, there's a little bit of editing you, I need Richard. to do there. So I'm just going to edit that. So I'm going to tap that to about here. We can do split. Let's delete that bit here. And then move this to the beginning, like so. Back to the studio. Thank you, Richard. Me, for that. There we go. So there's my video. Now, that's pretty much finished now. So now what I can do is I can press the done button in the corner. I can rename it, so I don't want it to be called my video. So I'm going to say my self interview. Press the return button. And then what I can do is I can share that to wherever I want to go. So I can press the share button. And then I tend to export the video and save the video. I don't want to export the project, but I can save the video to my camera roll. But if you don't want to save it, then you can choose one of these options at the top here. If you want to go to Shobi or Teams, you can actually uh, upload it there. As Seesaw as well, you can airdrop it. But I'm going to save the video. And depending on your internet connection on where you're doing this, what you might want to consider on where you're saving this, you might want to consider the quality. If it's an assembly piece, then maybe you want to do a high definition. If it's um, something that you're going to upload to something like Seesaw, Shobi or Teams or Google Classroom, any of those uh, workflow solutions, then you might want to use small or medium because then it won't take so much time and use the bandwidth. I'm going to use small. Click OK. Now, if we go back to our photos library, and then this is the finished video. And there we go. And that's an iMovie project that you can do with your students to get them understanding how to do some editing, simple editing, and some green screen work. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.